My name is Philip and welcome to my channel. After my solar system was installed, I had to wait a month for Vector to come and install my power, my export power meter, and then I had to wait another month for them to get it going. During this time, it left me wondering if there might be a better use for my excess solar power, and then I came across crypto mining. Crypto mining is where you use a computer with a GPU to perform a lot of calculations to generate cryptocurrency like Bitcoin, which you can then sell for New Zealand dollars. GPUs generate a lot of heat when they're crypto mining and I was thinking what could I do with all this excess heat rather than just waste it radiating it into the nearby atmosphere and then I was thinking you can get water coolers for GPU and they use they pump water um, through a, um, a heat sink on top of the GPU to cool it down and then I was thinking I've got a sparkle and it's got just under a thousand litres of water in it I wonder if I could take water from the spa pool, run it through the GPU cooler, let it heat it up, and then put that water back into the spa pool. I'm paying for the power to run the spa pool anyway. This just means I could use that same power for running mining cryptocurrency. This sparked the idea for my latest project, a solar-powered crypto mining spa pool heater. And you're watching part one in the series. Let's take a look at the financials and see if this could be viable. Just before we look at the financials, I'd just like to mention that this is not a sponsor video. No one's paying me or giving me any components. Everything I'll be buying myself. Now, with regard to GPUs, I've looked at some of the high-end um, consumer or domestic GPUs, and a couple of the ones that stood out were the RT uh, NVIDIA RTX 3090 and the NVIDIA RTX 3080. Um, I had a quick look at some of the AMD cards as well, but when it comes to crypto mining, then the video ones seem to um, be the standout favourites. Um, so for the 3090 system, I had a look at PBTech's website, and this was about the lowest end gaming PC I could find. So it's only got an i3, and it's got 8 gigs of RAM. Um, when you're doing crypto mining, it doesn't use the CPU or the memory in the machine. So you really want the lowest, if you just want to do use it for crypto mining, you want the lowest sort of spec CPU and um, RAM that you can reasonably use. And I thought it was pretty good at um, $1,087. Um, one of the reasons I've used a gaming um, PC is because a lot of the components are more modular inside and easier to swap out. And the cases tend to have more flexibility. Like, for instance, this one allows a water-cooled radiator to be fitted to the computer. Um, also, um, they tend to um, be able to support large GPU cards. And um, the, like the RTX 3090 is a full-length card, and it's um, a double slot width card. So um, a gaming PC is a safe option to make sure it'll both fit. Um, the other thing I liked about this one is that the case was quite small. It was about the smallest case I could find. And what I'm thinking I'd quite like to do is um, inside of the, when you take the side off the spa pool and uh, it has the controller and everything behind it, I'm thinking that the, this case would actually be small enough to actually slip inside the spa pool and just leave there permanently with a tap off the filter end, drawing water in and then feeding back out to the outlet to the spa pool. Um, next thing we need is a 3090 card. Now these are actually quite hard to come by and this one's particularly expensive at 3700 but it does come with a water cooler and it is available and in stock. So I've restricted myself to only considering suppliers that have parts in stock because um, a, a lot of suppliers um, are having trouble sourcing these to sell and so I don't really trust the pricing on their websites if it's not available to sell. Uh, the other thing is the GPU needs quite a big power supply, so the one that comes with the gaming machine will need to be thrown away, and this much larger power supply put in, um, an 850-watt unit. So that comes to $4,786 of money outlaid. I had a quick look at the RTX 3080. You can buy these all set up, ready to go. Uh, although it does come with a lot of things you don't need, like 32 gigs of RAM and a much bigger hard drive, but it was still kind of around this $4,800. So this seems like a reasonable amount of a reasonable um, amount to allow for what you'd need to invest into a machine. Um, other things of note is that um, there's not a lot of trust in a lot of the um, cryptocurrency exchanges. This is where you buy and sell things like Bitcoin. 
Um, a lot of them have been hacked and people have uh, lost their funds. So it's very common now to use things like this Ledger Nano S, which is an offline um, cryptocurrency store. So basically you plug it into your computer and then uh, you transfer your cryptocurrency onto it. And then when you unplug it from your computer, it's disconnected from you everything and um, it can't be stolen. These ones are quite cool and they actually have two buttons on the top and you've got to press both buttons simultaneously to allow money to be either transferred in or out of it. So there's just no way um, it could be taken by accident. Um, my thoughts are that I, uh, I expect to pay um, tax on any earnings um, I make. That'll be a personal decision for um, anyone who does this, but um, it is it would be additional income for me if this worked out financially. Um, and because of that, um, you can fill out a, uh, an IR, if you're gonna act as a sole trader, you can fill out an IR10 to summarize your uh, income and expenses, and then, uh, um, and then you put the numbers onto an IR3. Um, in New Zealand, our depreciation rates are about 40% for computing style stuff. Uh, interesting enough, um, solar power gear, you can depreciate it around 10.5%. Now we know what it costs to buy a suitable machine, let's have a look at um, what it, the potential income. So there's a couple of websites I came across called NiceHash and BetterHash, and they may both have software you can just download and make it easy to be able to start crypto mining. So both of them let you type in the kind of GPU you've got, and then based off the current um, Bitcoin to New Zealand dollar exchange rates, they tell you what um, you should be able to earn. So for nice hash, that was five thousand two hundred twenty-seven dollars a year for an RTX thirty ninety, and the thirty eighty was four thousand one hundred eighty-one. Uh, we'll ignore the um, GTX sixteen fifty for the moment. That's what actually comes with the gaming PC, and I use that in part two to test um, how accurate these numbers are. So when you recall that the whole machine costs $4,800 odd, that means the in terms of just pure cash flow, you can recover the cost of the machine in sub-12 months. Um, so the RTX 3090 over a year, it'll consume around 2.5 megawatt hours of power. Uh, the 3080 would do um, 1.9 megawatt hours. Now, because I'm planning on... Um, using this with my um, spa pool and I'm already paying for the power, my intention would be to run this thing 24 by seven. I've allowed for 20 cents a kilowatt hour um, as the average price across the whole day. I think my average cost is probably gonna be under 10 because the solar power would offset the cost of it running quite a bit, but, but this is quite a generous number to use for the costings. So based off that, the, um, um, RTX 3090 would cost about $508 per year in power to run, and the 3080 would be $392 in power. Um, so um, if I'm going to pay tax on the income I earn, I can also claim a tax deduction against the tax I pay for my personal income. So if we just use a simple 40% um, straight line depreciation, which we looked up um, on the um, capital tab, for a RTX 38, that means I can claim about $1,900 a year as a tax deduction. So overall, the 3090 would make um, before tax uh, around $2,800 per annum. Although do note, um, the actual cash flow is $5,200. That's just um, the taxable values bringing it down. So that looks pretty good so far. Let's flip it around and look at what we could make per kilowatt hour. So these are all the same numbers, and now I'm taking the number of kilowatt hours per year um, that'll be used, and the RTX 3090 comes out at, at making uh, $1 a kilowatt. So export solar power in New Zealand, you can earn around between eight and 16 cents a kilowatt. And we, so when you look at what you could earn through crypto mining per kilowatt, it's kind of laughable to export your solar power um, when you can make so much more by just doing something like this and um, simply earning it. Um, the RTX 3080, even the 3080, it makes quite a respectable 82 cents per kilowatt hour. Uh, the other thing I checked out or I've started looking into was if um, I do the crypto mining, then I earn the Bitcoin, 
uh, how can I get it back into New Zealand dollars? And I found um, two players, BitPrime and uh, DAssetX. I'm not sure how you meant to pronounce that. Both of these um, players um, indicate that they can um, you can sell Bitcoin and they can put New Zealand dollars directly into your New Zealand bank account, which is just the way I prefer it. My initial impression from looking at the financials is that this is a viable project. So my next step will be to create a low cost um, version of this to test out the numbers and see if it really stacks out. That'll be part two, so stay tuned and keep watching.